good day good day folks welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to look at the electrochemistry question paper it's a november um dbe question paper in 2022 let's cut the chase a piece of zinc is placed in a test tube containing an acidified permanganate um solution let's let's have the drawing for that and then the zinc is here in this a solution of what of permanganate the permanganate it's mno4 it's acidified which is an acidic um this is a zinc now it says after some time it is found that the redox reaction takes place that means there's a transfer of electron um, from the permanganate to the zinc or to the zinc to the permanganate now it says use the standard um use the table of standard reduction potential to answer the following question that means we're going to use the table i use 4b if you use 4a it's going to give you the same answer now it says write down the name of the name or the formula of the reducing agent let's go to the table now let's go and look for zinc this is table 4b guys um let's look for zinc where's zinc there's zinc right there's zinc there and the permanganate is right at the bottom um it's right at the bottom there so this simply means that using 4b that means the zinc is undergoing oxidation that means it's losing electrons and the permanganate is undergoing the reduction so we're reading the table we're reading the half cell of zinc from a right to left in this one from left to right right so what do we do now what do we do now it says write down the oxidizing agent the the, the, the the reducing agent the reducing agent it's going to be what zinc remember in my previous video this is the reducing ability that means the reducing agent we're going to get it from the right these ones that are here so the reducing agent is going to be what zinc not is going to be zinc atom not zinc ions so the answer here is going to be what zinc right now 8.1.2 it says refer to the relative strength of oxidizing agent to explain why redox reaction takes place here so the way we refer it says we must refer to the strength of oxidizing agent so the oxidizing agent strength it's this side so we're going to look at zinc iron and the permanganate iron so can you see the the strength of oxidizing ability is increasing from top to bottom so between zinc iron and the permanganate iron there it's going to be the one with the strongest ability is the permanganate iron so we're going to talk about the relative strength between the two so the answer there what i'm going to say there if you look at the permanganate it's at the bottom there so i will say the permanganate iron is a is a stronger stronger oxidizing agent you write it in full guys uh, than what than zinc iron remember we're comparing these ones um the reducing ability the oxidizing ability we will we'll talk about these so we'll talk about the permanganate iron and the zinc iron so the permanganate iron is a stronger oxidizing agent than zinc iron right than zinc iron so what else and the permanganate iron um since it's a stronger oxidizing agent it will oxidize it's an oxidizing agent right so it will oxidize zinc to zinc iron right because it's an it's an oxidizing agent it makes the zinc to lose electrons so that's what we we say the alternatively what you can say here since you can see the zinc iron is the is the weaker oxidizing agent you can say zinc iron is a weaker oxidizing agent than 
than permanganate iron, right? So if you say that zinc um is a is a is a weaker is a weaker oxidizing agent and then you will say zinc zinc and zinc will reduce uh, zinc uh, will reduce will reduce the permanganate iron to manganate iron or manganese iron to mn2 plus so that's the same thing guys you can answer that by that <clears throat> now 8.2 8.2 okay let me erase this answer mm, you can pause the video and record or or write the answer now it says a standard reduction the standard electrochemical cell is a standard and now we have here um, in this electrochemical cell we have a nickel electrode and a manganese electrode right and then we have a soul bridge it's labeled as y and uh, here we have a nickel solution and here we have a manganese uh, solution now 8.2.1 says write down the function of the component y component y is the soap bridge so there are two functions that are very important for a soap bridge it is to complete the circuit in fact there are three of them is to complete the circuit or you can say it maintains electrical neutrality all right um, it ensures the electrical neutrality um, in the cell or it say you can say it provides the path for ions it provides the path for movement of ions the ions they move uh, through that through the soul bridge All right now it says in which direction will electron flow from the external circuit to choose the nickel to manganese or manganese to so in which direction are going to move in this direction or they're going to move in this direction so what is going to tell us that is the table we go and see the manganese and the nickel which one it has is oxidizing which one is reducing let me re erase these ones let me erase this one. I'm done with that. Okay. So it's a nickel and the manganese. Here's the manganese. Yeah. Right. And here's the nickel. Here. So the one that is at the top is, um, is, is oxidation. And this one is reduction. So the manganese is undergoing oxidation and this one is undergoing the reduction. Those are the half cell there. So the nickel, um, the manganese is going to be negative, which is the same, anode. And then this one is going to be positive. It's the cathode. So the electrons will flow from manganese to nickel. So the answer here it's going to be manganese to nickel right manganese to nickel yeah that's correct and then it says calculate the emf of the cell so the emf of the cell um, you calculate it by saying e cell e cell is equal to e um, cathode minus e theta anode and which one is the cathode the cathode is the nickel the answer there it's negative 0 0.27 minus negative 1 point so it's minus negative 2.7 and negative 1,18 minus minus 1,18 so if you punch that in the calculator, um, the answer there, it will be um, 0 0.91, positive 0 0.91 volts. That's the initial EMF of the cell. Now it says write down the balance equation for the next cell taking place. Okay, 
the oxidation okay i'm gonna write the answer here it's 8.2.4 the oxidation half reaction there um it's the manganese the manganese um it's mn and the nickel okay it's the manganese it's going to be mn and arrow mn2 plus plus two electrons and then the reduction the reduction is the nickel 2 plus plus 2 electrons, arrow, and an I, which is the nickel. So, guys, I got this from the table. So, the net, the net cell, the net cell, or the overall here, since the electrons are balanced, do you see? The electrons are balanced there, they're going to cancel. So, I'm going to start with the, I'm going to start with the, reactants it's going to be manganese plus nickel two plus and r these are the reactants and then the product is going to be mn two plus which is this and this plus the nickel this is very important guys this is important and then we answer the question in 8.2.5 it says now the concentration of nickel iron is now increased where is it increase now they increasing the concentration of nickel iron in this solution now the question it says how will the reading of the voltmeter increase or decrease or remain the same so guys answering 8.2.45 it requires the net cell the one that we just did always this question of the concentration is after they ask you the net cell you need the net cell for this now let's look at it now the nickel ions are increased that means that's the disturbance in the system and then the system will respond by decreasing the nickel which is it going to favor the reaction and that decreases the nickel so now if it decreases the nickel, that means the product will be increased. This, the reactant is the response of the system. It decreases the reactant, and then the product is going to increase. So if the, 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 the product is increased, that means the EMF is going to what? Increase as well. It's going to increase as well. Why it's going to increase, guys? They did not ask for an explanation, but I'm going to give you an explanation. The answer is increase there. So you will say the system, that's the reason, favored the reaction that decreases, that decreases the concentration of nickel, of nickel ions, right? Which is, which is, which one is that one? Is the forward, forward reaction is favored forward reaction is favored once the forward reaction is favored the emf increases guys all the time check my previous video on this which is by